and welcome back to the Irishman from plays undertale so i thought i did this way long ago but apparently i didn't which is talk to him in his room i thought i did that apparently i fucking didn't so um if you've seen everything do you want to start the date yes okay dating starts Dating. Start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Wowie! I feel so informed! Reel it in, population, egg, crime, sonar, and the moon? I don't get this! I think we're ready for step two! Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem! Human, I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Re Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second! Wear clothing. That locket around your neck! You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that! Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing! No! Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? <laughs> that face. No! You planned it all. You're meeting all of my standards. You're way better at dating than I am. N no! Your dating power, it's over 9,000. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been da beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> oh, this is the best! Yeah! What do you think of my secret style? Love it! No! You're still meeting all of my standards! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. My hat? My hat? My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice! It's a present! A present just for you! Open it. Do you know what this is? Of course! Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong! This ain't any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silk and spaghetti! Finally aged in an oaken cask! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! Eat it. I take a small bite. My face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable! What a passionate expression! 
You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, it's... Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard, too. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I... The great papyrus have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> I mean... It worked out for the best? I don't know. All I know is I have dated a skeleton and the skeleton did not like me in return. <sighs> well, next is Undine. And I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Take a good hard look cause I'm on a fucking boat. I'm on a boat and it's going fast and I got a nautical theme, pass me an afghan. I'm on the boat with the Grim Reaper. No, that's not true. I'm on the boat with the ferryman and he never asked me for gold. It's actually kind of sweet. He's doing it out of the kindness of his heart. So, oh, there you are, Papyrus. There's... This is going to hurt my voice again. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undine? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi. I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <clears throat> so are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I 
I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. Whoopsie doopsie. I'm going to try and start saying that in my life now. Except, you know me, I don't make mistakes. Ever. In my life. I'm a perfect human being. No one can ever stop me in anything I do. You have, you two have fun. That was very dramatic. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend! Now get out of my house! Dang! What a shame! I thought Undine could be friends with you, but I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge! Challenge? What? Papyrus! Wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke! I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day of the week! I'll show him! Listen up, human! We're not just going to be friends, we're going to be... BESTIES! BESTIES! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Sitting down. Yes, I will sit down and progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set! What would you like? Hey, don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Sugar goes in tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Blat blatantly. Oh, it's so blatant that it's the correct choice. Fridge, full of food. Sword, acquired taste. Undine! I can select Undine! This is perfect! I want to see what happens! Are you... hitting on me? <laughs> Tea, huh? Coming right up! It'll take a moment for the water to boil. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. That's it. <laughs> I missed out on so much of this game! Oh my god! Okay, it's all done. Oh... That was the best noise for fucking water to be finished boiling. What? Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. 
That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now, I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I didn't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um... Maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! What cooking lesson prompts you to kick shit off a counter? That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become even closer than you could ever imagine! Phew! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Let's start with sauce. Dust with your fists. How would you pound? Strong! You punch the vegetables at full front force! You knock over a tomato! Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting these healthy ingredients! Now it's my turn! Yeah! You are strong! Uh we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely or carefully? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Harder! 
Ah! Uh, let me do it. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Hotter! Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too... <laughs> I'm going to harness the power of the fucking sun to make spaghetti. Ah, uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! Um, I'm gonna save this for next time! So thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please leave a like down below. If you didn't like the video, please comment as why. If you want to see future videos, please subscribe. It's a nice thing for me, it's a nice thing for you, it's a nice thing for everyone. If you haven't had a good day so far, I hope you have a better one. Bye!